What's up guys, Bogdan here and welcome to the Import Export Hub channel. Okay, so starting with this video, at the end of each week I will try to make a short review about what happened around the world in terms of import-export opportunities and business opportunities. But uh, before I uh, start this uh, video, I would like to ask you a quick quiz question. What is the second largest product that Uzbekistan exported in 2020 in terms of uh, value? And uh, if your answer was cotton, you are right. In 2020, Uzbekistan exported more than $1.2 billion of uh, cotton. If you didn't know the answer, no problem, but I highly recommend you to pay a visit to this channel from time to time and watch some other videos because I really think that you will find some uh, really interesting information about uh, business opportunities and import-export uh, information. And uh, without further information to be added, I have two requests from you, two big requests for you. Push the like button and the subscribe button if you didn't do it already and I will highly appreciate your effort. Okay, so back to the news. I will start with uh, New Zealand where it seems that the government announced a ban on uh, live cattle exports by sea. It seems that more than 100,000 uh, breeding cattle were shipped to China in uh, 2020 with a value of more than uh, $250 million, dollars, uh, New Zealand dollars, I think. Of course, animal welfare groups are um, very happy, while the exporters are not so happy, which is understandable. And if you ask me, this kind of uh, export activity will indeed be phased out. Uh, I think that uh, this will happen in two or three years also in the European Union. And um, I think that uh, Romania, will be the probably the most affected uh, given the lo long and uh, long lasting uh, tradition of uh, Romania as a major ship and cattle exporter to the Middle East and uh, North Africa. Now moving on to the second news which is related to the shifts that are taking place uh, worldwide because of the pandemic supply chain uh, disruptions in terms of uh, sourcing activities. And uh, it seems that companies are trying to diversify their sourcing strategies. And uh, although China is uh, still an important player, alternative uh, players like Vietnam, India and Turkey are very feasible as well. Now, this confirms what I uh, thought also. Companies are trying to make their sourcing strategies and the supply chains more resilient and they are actively searching options for nearshoring or uh, reshoring, why not? What will happen next? Uh, it's very hard to tell, but uh, it's worth taking into account uh, players like Vietnam, India and Turkey, especially in the textile sector. In uh, Thailand, it seems that the Commerce Minister is, is expecting an 8% uh, growth in exports and uh, very important information from this article, it seems that um, there will be some business matching uh, sessions between Walmart and some businesses from Thailand. Okay, it seems that uh, Walmart um, sourcing agents uh, are already pl uh, planning to diversify their sourcing strategies and why not? Thailand seems another good opportunity besides uh, Vietnam and Asia, at least in that part of uh, the world. The next news is about uh, some entrepreneurial loaders challenging the liner uh, services, liner conferences from China to Europe. And uh, we have the pandemic, I know. Last month uh, we had the uh, Swiss Canal blockage with uh, Evergreven um, and um, it seems that uh, this uh, line, China United Lines, together with uh, Crossstaff, which is an international um, purchasing association, made the um, first successful sailing from China to Europe, I think uh, back in February 2021, so this year. What's uh, interesting to see 
here in this article is what the representative of um, uh, cross staff Mr. Nap said and he said that we decided to take matters into our own hands and offer our own transport uh, capacities. Now whether this model will be a successful one or not remains to be seen but uh, paying $15,000 for a 40 feet container from China to Europe I think it's uh, outrageous. Okay, I understand that uh, there is COVID, you had to send containers in early 2020 in places where there is no much uh, export activities. There were uh, again black sailings in 2020. More recently, there was the Suez Canal blockage. But uh, now asking these outrageous prices, I really think that, I really hope that uh, the shipping companies are not putting um, short-term uh, profit above uh, the partnership with the major importers and the exporters around the world. But that remains to be seen in the years to come. I think in the next two or three years, we will see some really interesting um, developments between uh, the collaboration between the importers, exporters and major shipping lines, especially because in 2021 the conferences, uh, at least in European, in the European Union, there will be banned, but this remains to be seen. And speaking of uh, the European Union, this uh, news concerns um, the Republic of uh, Uzbekistan and it seems that uh, the European Union accepted uh, Uzbekistan as the ninth uh, beneficiary country for uh, GCP and uh, so European Union will start um, applying preferential tariffs for products imported from uh, Uzbekistan under this agreement from uh, 10th of April this year. So sourcing managers, importers, exporters be ready to profit from this uh, arrangement with Uzbekistan. And the last news it's about um, it's coming from UNCTAD and uh, concerns the container shipping in uh, times of uh, COVID-19. Uh, this is basically a policy brief which I thought it's worth mentioning because it describes what uh, generated the current situation in terms of uh, equipment shortage the surge in uh, freight rates, but also some uh, considerations, especially for policymakers, we see here. And uh, from my perspective, what uh, it's really interesting to see is how the competition uh, authorities from, uh, especially from the United States and Europe, will address this issue and uh, what they will uh, find. Uh, it remains to be seen and uh, I'm enthusiastically waiting for uh, this uh, development to come to came out. Okay, so that's it for today. I really hope uh, you've uh, enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment uh, in the section below and until next time, keep your business safe. Thanks.